In an analogy, we liken something to something else so that we can understand it better. In these pictures, we are likening an electric circuit to a water circuit. Just like you need a pump to force the water around the water circuit. You need a voltage source, a cell or a battery, to force the charge around the electric circuit. In our water circuit, we have water filling all the pipes and the pump all the time. In our electric circuit, we have charge filling all the wires and the voltage source all the time. This is whether the charge is flowing or not whether the water is flowing or not. What the pump does is it moves the water from where it is in the circuit around. It doesn't make water. Similarly, the voltage source, the battery, moves the charge that is already in the wires around from where they are when the circuit is closed. The voltage source doesn't make charge. In our water circuit, we might have a valve or a tap to prevent the flow of water at certain times. Close the tap and now the water cannot flow. The tap offers infinite resistance, so it breaks the circuit. Similarly, we might have a switch in an electric circuit. When the switch is open, then it offers infinite resistance. It breaks the circuit. Charge can no longer flow. There's not a path for it to flow through at that point. The circuit is broken. Some pipes might be thick. Water can flow through them easily. Similarly, some of the conductors in a circuit might be good conductors. Charge can flow through them easily. Some of the pipes in a water circuit might be narrow, offering a lot of resistance. Such a pipe makes it difficult for the water to flow through it. The water loses water pressure as it flows through this thin pipe. Similarly, some conductors are difficult for electricity to flow through. They are resistors. Electrical energy is extracted, taken out of them as the electric charge flows through them.